the first habit of the seven habits of Stephen Covey is called the proactive approach, proactivity, basically. And Stephen Covey starts explaining the concept of a stimulus and a response. And that there are two kinds of people, there are two kinds of handling that situation, a stimulus and a response. And that's the reactive approach and the proactive approach. Let's dive in in the reactive approach. He writes about three social maps, three social maps in which you respond to a stimulus. The first one is called the genetic uh, aspect of, of the response. And the genetic aspect is about your family, about your DNA, about my grandparents were like that, so I'm also like that, no? And that's the way we in the family respond to certain stimulus. That's the way we deal with things in this family, and that's part of my DNA, so I can't handle that. That's the first social map. And the second social map, he talks about he talks about physiological response. Physiologi physiological response, and that has to do with the way you are raised. It is like because your parents raised you in a certain way. It's because your childhood experiences. It's, it's because of, um, of your experiences in the childhood, what I said. And, and that gives you a certain direction to respond to a stimulus. That's, that's how it is. And the third social map is called the environment. It's influenced by the environment. It's related to peer pressure, maybe, to when in Rome, do as the Romans do. And everybody is doing it like this, so I'm doing it like this as well. It's the fault of your boss, or it's the it's an external factor that makes you respond to stimulus uh, as you do. And those three maps, those three directions of responding to stimulus are related to the reactive approach. And this chapter is all about the proactive approach. And proactivity is nothing more than the realization that you have a choice how to respond. You have a choice how to respond. It's not, it doesn't have to be this reactive approach that it's out of your own force and it's just like it is alongside these three social maps. You actually can choose yourself how you respond to a stimulus. And that insight alone, I think, is very exciting in this leadership approach of the seven habits of Stephen Covey. And for parenting, I think it's also so true. I often, often hear that parenting is something in your DNA. My parents did it. My grandparents did it. It's the way in our family how we raise our kids, something in that line of thought. And especially... It's how I was raised, no? So my parents raised me in a certain way and I do it like that. That makes sense, no? That's, there's no rocket science there. That's what I do. And the third one, the third social approach, the peer pressure do when in Rome, do as the Romans do. I think that's very true as well. You look around, you look at your friends, your peer fathers, your peer parents, around you, how you think they raise their kids, how they do, how they work. And you copy kind of it. And you try to, to do it maybe a little better than them. But that's your benchmark, no? And that's how it goes. And that's life. That's how things go. And that's the reactive parent approach, basically. I think it's extremely interesting to consider a proactive parent approach and gather some insights, gather some new ideas about parenting. And in order to expand your options, how to respond to a stimulus, 
how to respond to a stimulus because you can always respond differently. You can choose how to respond to a stimulus. And I think that's extremely exciting and that relates one-on-one -on -one to this first chapter, the first few pages of uh, the first habit of Stephen Covey. Let me give you an example. My five-year-old son would hit his little sister of two years old. So a reactive approach would be based on my feelings that it's not okay. You cannot hit your sister. Go to your room and punish him, basically. No, reactive approach. That's how we handle it with the, in, in my family. That's how I've been raised myself. And that's basically how I think that other parents would handle that situation. That, that's socially accepted. However, the insights I have today is that my son can only have one emotion at a time and he's unable to express his feelings in words or walk away out of the situation. So it is not based on bad behavior. It's just that comes out like that and that's inconvenient. So if I have that insight, I have the choice to respond in a different way. And I have the choice to think about what are my values in life. My values in life is that my son can have any emotions he has and that I want to communicate with him that he can always come to me with all his emotions, happy ones, foul ones, nasty ones, ugly ones. No matter the emotion, he can always come to me and I will, I will accept his ugly emotions. So I choose to respond in a different way than many other parents, maybe. So I say, oh, you must be, that must be frustrated now to, 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 that your little sister always kicks over your nice castles. And, and that's where I make a choice to respond different. So that's my very first interpretation, like translation of, uh, the seven habits of Stephen Covey and I'm really trying hard to bring those habits home because that's where they started in the first place. And I always end with love from Lutzer.